Hello and thank you for watching my tutorial on how to uh, de deploy a web application onto Shiny servers. In the previous uh, tutorial I uh, walked you through a web application, a very simple web application using RStudio and Shiny package. If you have not got the chance to uh, watch that video, I provided the link for you guys. So you can first go ahead and watch that one and then come back to this video and uh, deploy your Shiny app over the server. Let me briefly go over and show you what the application did. So here is what we did in the previous video. You first select a distribution type. Once the distribution is selected, you can choose the sample size, the distribution mean, and standard deviation and um, the plot <coughs> automatically are shown. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, see how we can uh, upload this application onto a shiny server. <coughs> In order to uh, be able to upload this, pro this application you will need a sh package called shiny apps. Uh, to install that, first you need to install DevTools. So, let's go to Package, under Package. You can click on Install and just write DevTools. Here it is. Alright. So, again, let's go to Under Package tab. Click on Install and Install Shiny Apps. If you cannot find it, the code for that is you can just write dev tools here. Let me cancel dev tools colon colon install GitHub then R Studio forward slash shiny shiny apps alright after doing some research over the web I figure out what where the problem was uh, in fact you would not see such a such an issue with uh, the Windows uh, operation system but if you run your RStudio package over the Linux or probably Macintosh you'll see this problem the problem is uh, that the RStudio package was not able to uh, download this uh, HTTR and R curl. So in order to do that you need to install two packages on your terminal. So these are the codes uh, sudo apt-get install rcran xml. This is one of the packages and this is the other package you need to install. One. After installing these two packages you would be able to uh, go ahead and just uh, install the DevTools package. So now we have our DevTools. Now after that I need to install the Shiny apps. Let me go ahead and write the DevTools again, colon, colon, install GitHub, then RStudio forward slash shiny apps okay once you download the shiny apps package you need to create a shiny apps account for this purpose open up a browser go to shinyapps.io choose this create an account you can either use your google or github account I'll prefer to choose Google okay my username is shiny app tutorial and let me enter my password okay so let's accept the terms and everything okay there are some terms of use that you need to read it since I've read it before I'll just accept it then uh, you should accept. 
Okay, you need to write an account name for yourself, which uh, you want your uh, web application to be there. I'll say, okay, first shiny app. So the URL is going to be first shiny app that shiny apps that I owe. All right. After creating the account, you will be navigated to the dashboard of the shiny apps that I owe. You can either copy it over here. If you cannot find this page, you can go to your name, uh, your account name. Then there is a token. You can find your token over here and show it and then copy it to the clipboard and then you'll come back to uh, our studio and paste it over there okay now your uh, account information is set to the R studio and the only thing you which is left is just uh, loading the shiny apps and the and run your application. We have our application over here. So, so our working directory is set, everything is fine. We just need to write deploy app. So the program is going to uh, set everything ready and deploy your application over the shiny server. Since it will take a long time, I will go ahead and, and uh, pause this video and come back with the final product. Okay, after all the packages got installed on the Shiny server, a uh, web, uh, web browser will pop up including your program. Now you can find this application, the simple application that we developed together on Shiny server so I can share it with my co-workers, managers and or whatnot. And your dashboard in Shiny app will looks like this I just have one application right now first shiny app which is running because somebody is using it after a while it will it will goes into sleeping or pending or somehow sometimes archived so I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I will mm, provide you with the link to this page and my previous tutorial thank you very much bye